All right, everyone, welcome back into another props video. Give me a touch in on the top prop bets for prize picks on this Flex Friday. But first, I do want to start out with an underdog slip because we are getting a pretty good edge for this slip. So this is a slip here, guys. And the reason why this is looking like it's a pretty big edge is the simple fact that Ricky Fowler's strokes on prize picks right now is set at 68.5. Really, in golf, there should not be that big of a discrepancy between the strokes. Maybe 0.5 here or there, like one of the sites disagreeing with the other. But all in all, it should not be that big of a difference. And if we look at the projection data, um, he is projected to get... 68.9 or so for the stroke so it is a tighter one for sure this is going to be four under par if he gets lower than this which on all this is a tournament in which he should be able to get four under par and the issue with ricky is that he does make a lot of bogeys and whatnot but all in all this is one that's projecting to be a pretty good edge there and then we got zach ed for under 47.7 for a fantasy score that's another one that's really popping up as a good prop bet. And so I'll show you guys Zach Eady here. Like this is sorting it by prize picks. If we go into underdog, you can see it a little bit better. Like we can see here, guys, the uh, average sportsbook line would have the set at 45 or so, you know, uh, so the prize pick line seems to be more correct. And then the projection data really doesn't like it. That I'm just assuming that the discrepancy here is just between the blocks, really. Uh, he is someone that really can get a lot of stocks as well. So like he is someone that can really get a lot of points, fancy points by his blocks. But 47.7, we can see that that is clearly the outlier. Uh, we had the situation yesterday with two college basketball props as well. It was basically the exact same situation where underdog was clearly the outlier among the data points that were being pulled in. These ones hit pretty well. Uh, this really was a strong point point uh, data wise yesterday for underdog not only did the three slip bet hit that i gave you guys yesterday for underdog there's other pretty big edges on underdog and that's kind of been the theme i think you guys know it by now that underdog they just seem to be a little bit slower to respond and their the lines that they've been giving us have been better for us rather than them then yeah just showing you guys the ricky father line real quick for his strokes we can see kind of just soaring it by the chart view a little bit here that on average he does score 69.7 but this tournament does play a little bit easier so his projection is at 69 so in theory yes his line is it being in the middle like it is on both price picks and underdog is seemingly correct but all in all it does seem to be that we are getting a better edge on underdog because it is favoring the under there. So all in all, that's a good bet. If you guys want to hedge this with a pet for Flex Friday, by all means, we could do that. So what I mean by that is because we have a clear outlier, he is someone that you could kind of middle a little bit. Hopefully that he does shoot his projection of 69. Okay, that is a decent opportunity. Obviously, yesterday he was very close to doing that as well. Again, Ricky just makes a little bit too many bogeys. The birdies are going to be there. So if he can cut down on one of those sloppy bogeys, he's going to be good to go. Let's go ahead and take a peek at the rest of the prop bets that we are currently getting. And so let's finish off kind of the college basketball one there. We can still see Zach 80 there. If you guys want to bet the under for him on under or on prize picks as well, you can. But again, guys, when we're getting big discrepancies like that, my personal uh, way to go about handling that is to just bet it on one of the sites that's literally why i play on both sides so that when there is a day in which maybe one site is better than the other other we don't have to worry about maybe forcing a bet on a site uh and then so i don't feel like we need to do that on prize picks uh, but we also have alex here for over his fantasy score which basically the exact opposite prop as ed where you know prize picks is clearly the outlier data point here and does that mean that he's guaranteed to hit no but we know props betting we know the name of the game uh, for prize picks and underdog we are trying to gain edges each and every day this is the edge that we are currently getting right now so by all means this is going to be a prop bet that is on my flex friday slip if you guys are listening to this maybe you're a butler fan or uconn fan and you know or you just know college basketball a little bit better and you think this one is ugly by all means go ahead and bet the opposite of this but bet the opposite of it on underdog and for what's worth guys i hate doing this plug but it does help out the channel which continues to help me grow and put out more and more data points and content on the website and just everything uh so if you guys do use that underdog slip make sure you use the promo code nine to five that's just going to kick some money back my way to the channel it's, it's just a way of supporting the channel uh use the promo code you get 100 percent match on a deposit up to them but enough with the underdog let's go ahead and get into uh, the rest of the prize pick slip. So yes, we got some college basketball props that are seemingly good ones. Let's take a peek at NBA right now as well. I already did a little bit of a deep dive video yesterday. Not too many edges yesterday. It was funny. Someone in the comment section was like, so basically you don't like any of the props that we have. I'm like, yeah, it's just the nature of the beast today. That's that's how it goes some days. I can't control that. You know, some days are just better than others. And yesterday night, there wasn't that many projected edges. Right now, sort of. I don't like this though, guys. To me, these are stay aways. Clink 
Capella under fantasy score, a stay away. Miles Turner under fantasy score, a stay away. And then Bruce Brown under fantasy score is a stay away. Now, the reason why I think they're stay aways really just comes down to the matchup. Now, the, the reason I think why these ones are popping up is because Miles Turner and Clint Capella, they're really not going to get that big of a minutes bump. And the minutes for Miles Turner and Clint Capella are going to be the concern. So we don't know for sure that he's going to get a lot of minutes, even in those two games against the Bucks. Granted, probably about the same matchup wise, he didn't get the over. And those were extremely high scoring games as well. This one is going to be about a 260 for the over and under. So I get it. I just, it's painful to fade one of the best highest scoring games that we got. And same thing for Clint Capella here, guys. Now, Enika Gonk, who's going to be, you know, probably getting his 20 or 25 minutes. So no, I don't know if we need to go in on Clint Capella for the under. I'm just going through, you know, why I don't like him. If you guys are just someone that gung-ho with the data points and just know that in the long term, these are going to pay off, by all means, go for it. But to me, I guess it's a little bit of a a way you could game stack this game is say maybe maybe the game total isn't correct maybe you could then bet the under i actually that's an okay way to go about doing it i personally think i just want to stay away from those a player that i do want to be on is a little bit of jalen johnson like i think he's gonna have a good game i think his mints are going to continue to be there and then from there guys we can see we're not really getting that many edges nba wise other than you know typically speaking i like to give you guys fantasy score props because those are the ones that not only are the biggest edges throughout the day but also they're going to be the prop bets that are going to be there throughout the day for you guys so all in all we can do these in a stack i'd be fine with it if you guys choose to do so the only one that i really like is going to be jalen johnson so let's just go ahead and take a peek at the prize picks ev only bets that we are getting we are getting some nhl props drake london i think is a good one for his over receptions let's see here rebounds so really kind of a tight slip you do dak under ints josh morrissey under assists drake london over receptions and then kenny moore under tackles and assists like i'm fine with those i think those all work it is a little bit of a tighter board but with that well let's take a peek at the discrepancies as well sometimes we get a glaring discrepancy mistake not really today ah nope okay Blake Crum, don't need to touch that. Total games, interesting here. This is kind of interesting. So total games, just as an FYI, guys, is a little bit different because underdog doesn't exactly give us a total games prop line. It's more uh, sets one, sets lost. And so typically underdog is actually a little bit higher than his prize picks for total games. But all in all, some slight edges there, it seems like, for tennis on, on a few of them. Yeah, that's we're just trying to find some slight edges for our Flex Fridays. And so before I get into the bets, I just want to show you guys one thing I will be doing just as an FYI, Seamus Powell. Power, more birdies than Camilla Vajagas. Vajagas is someone that went off in round one. Typically speaking, a player like Vajagas is not going to go off in two rounds. That's kind of the weird thing about golf. It's think about it with uh, somebody in the NBA. Let's say they have a cold night shooting one night. They're more likely to have good night shooting. Or a better example is when a bad shooter has a very good night shooting one night. Typically speaking, you can fade them the next night. That's what it's kind of doing with Vajagas there. Uh, all in all, that's the best projected edge that we have. So all in all, I'm kind of fine using that on a Flex Friday slip as well. Um, you know, we'll see. And then just real quickly, another golf prop to me that stands out is Batia for under uh, 69.5, four strokes. Uh, chances are he's going to get 69. That's what he shot yesterday. The data is not loading right now, but all in all, that should be a pretty good prop as well. I'm not going to include that on the Flex Friday slip. I'm only going to do a four slip bet here but I just wanted to show that to you guys. And all right, there we go, it loaded. So you guys can kind of see 69, yes. All right, so here's the bet of the day for the Flex Friday slip. Uh, and I just, just fair warning guys, the past, I think it is five Flex Fridays have literally been the worst days over the past month. Well, I guess month and a week. Literally, you take out, well, that's the beauty of Flex Friday. You don't have to take out the day because free slip, right? So all in all, nothing lost there, but man, definitely do to have a good day Flex Friday wise. I will say that today, the board isn't great, don't get me wrong, but it is better than I think literally the past five flush friday and so i feel decent about these profits that we are getting right now you know we got two pretty good ev bets right now okay for sure should be a good edge here shamus power should be able to get more birdies than camilio vajagas hopefully vajagas just didn't find something for the week that's really what it is but all in all again more times than not a player like vajagas compared to power vajagas is gonna have a comeback round where power is just even killed kind of did what you would expect yesterday and then we can see this is kind of a clear outlier that we are current whoa son of a bitch this is more no oh man i fat fingered it guys i fat fingered it no thank goodness i had enough time <laughs> that would have been so painful oh uh, but yeah so this one we could see was a clear outlier on prize picks man that would have been so mad because again if you think this is a good uh, less than bet you're just making that bet on the underdog oh man the fat fingers that's that's not fun uh but all in all yeah decent slip i'm okay with it uh just a reminder if you guys want to ask us to the nine to five sports prop sheet all you have to do is head on over to 9to5sports.com. It's going to be the prize picks and underdog cheat sheet. Now, you have to be a member 
member. It's only ten dollars a month. You know, pretty good value. I gosh, I hate trying to sell. I'm not trying to sell, but again, guys, the board's gonna be updating throughout the day. You can typically gain a pretty big edge by just staying on top of what the best projected profits are on the day. But yes, that's gonna be all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to give a like and subscribe. Really though, guys, hit the like button. You know, typically speaking, I, my goal is to get to 100 likes on the video. You know, if we can do that each day, that's gonna also help the channel grow. So I do appreciate it. Thanks for watching, guys. Let's have a good day. And as always, let's keep cashing.